anti-Semitism on college campuses so important? Hello, I'm Amy Zaley with the Jerusalem Connection Red Alert Report for July 20. While we're on summer break in the academic calendar, anti-Semitism seems to take no vacation or time off. Honest reporting is an excellent resource for finding information that the mainstream press often overlooks, either on purpose or from simple lack of interest. A July 17 feature article in Honest Reporting examines the 10 most shocking instances of anti-Semitism on college campuses within the last academic year. Keep in mind this is out of likely hundreds of reported and unreported instances and only within the U.S. Number one, Rutgers University, New Jersey. A fraternity was egged during Holocaust Remembrance Day just last month when students read the names of victims over a 24-hour period. The days leading up to the Holocaust Remembrance Day included multiple cars full of people waving Palestinian flags, driving up to the fraternity house, shouting anti-Semitic verbal assaults, and calling faculty or fraternity members terrorists and baby killers. Tufts University, Massachusetts. The Students for Justice in Palestine, SJP group, continually protests Jewish clubs and activities on campus, and they hold one of the most robust Israel apartheid weeks in the nation. Number three, University of Central Florida. Just in February, a Jewish student was driving past a rally being held by white supremacists, the neo-Nazi neo National Socialist Movement on campus. One of the members, quote, spat on the student's car, sparking an altercation that led to multiple members of the group beating and pepper spraying the student and subsequently throwing the student's phone down a storm drain. Video footage from the scene captured NSM members shouting anti-Semitic slurs throughout the attack. Three perpetrators were arrested. Number four, USC, University of Southern California, student Yasmin Mashalik, formerly, formerly a diversity, equity, and inclusion senator for the university's Viterbi School of Engineering. Well, this person posted multiple anti-Semitic posts on social media throughout the academic year. These included statements such as, quote, I want to kill every mother effing Zionist. The death of Israel is coming. I will do it single-handedly if I must. Yes, I effing love Hamas. And quote, curse the Jews. All of this in Arabic. Much of the USC community was actually outraged at this, but the university itself did nothing. Number five, George Washington University, right in Washington, D.C., Tau Kappa Epsilon's fraternity house was raided and the Torah scroll was desecrated and covered with laundry detergent. Number six, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Back in April, rocks were thrown at Jewish students by protesters outside the Halal House. Seventy-five or so people protested directly outside the campus Halal. Jewish students were on the balcony, and one protester threw a rock striking the Jewish students. That protester is being charged with felony assault and hate crime. Number seven, University of California, San Diego. After a week of serial vandalism against various Jewish symbols on campus and of multiple signs accusing Israel of apartheid, it then hosted a speaker who was known to praise the terrorist organization of Hamas. The vandalism then continued for several days after the speaker's event with little or no disciplinary outcome. Number eight, UCLA. University of Southern California, Los Angeles, Matthew Harris, a former philosophy lecturer for UCLA, was arrested for publishing an 800-plus page manifesto filled with anti-Semitic rays. A small sample, the kind of rhetoric includes, quote, white and Jews shall die, and a whole chapter titled The Perfect Holocaust is a completed one. Number nine, Boston University, Boston, Massachusetts. Graffiti spray painted by the SJP on the BU uh, rock on campus says, long live the infantata. Keep in mind that the mapping project or originated at BU. Number 10, Yale University, the Ivy League, one of the most premier schools in North America. A speaker there claims the FBI inflated hate, filled hate uh, crimes. Erica Hart, a self-described diversity and sexuality trainer brought in to speak by Yale Law Journal on the topics of racism and equality when she was asked why she did not mention anti-Semitism as a form of discrimination amongst all the other topics. She replied that she already covered it because, quote, some Jews are black. When pressed on the topic and challenged with statistics that show that Jews are the victims of hate crimes more than any other group, she suggested that those who compiled the data had a, quote, agenda. This is the FBI she's accusing. Feedback to the speaker included not allowing her to return to speak at the school. 
A number of incidents at colleges and universities in the United States, Canada, Europe, and Australia that engage in some sort of violence, vandalism, intimidation, discrimination, or hostility against Jews is astounding. It targets students and faculty who do not even necessarily espouse or demonstrate any particular Zionism. It's just because they're Jews. It targets speakers and groups and organizations that support Israel and examine anti-Semitism. Many instances are not formally reported or are reported but go uncounted due to a lack of action by leadership. Jewish students of all political leanings and every or no level of religiosity suffer the consequences even on the most progressive and so-called woke campuses. And it all started with words, and it spills out into the community, resulting in bodily harm, as we have seen on the streets of L.A., New Jersey, New York City, Paris, and more. This is why our scholarship program to send a student to live and study in Israel at Hebrew University, even just one at a time, is vital for bringing the voice of solidarity with Jews and support and truth for Israel and justice back to U.S. college campuses. This helps us fulfill our mission to inform, educate, and activate Christians. Be in prayer for our educational institutions at all levels. Speak out in your own networks and amongst your own connections to combat the bias and violence that is being committed under some veil of social justice and progressive enlightenment. It's just the same old hate repackaged and sold off to the masses. And it is dangerous and should not go unchecked among Christians and anybody who believes in true justice and intellectual, intellectual integrity in our educational organizations. Isaiah 33, 6 tells us, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Shavuotov, and have a great week.